Spring Lafay Simple Tarot. Okay, Aquarius, this is going to be a reading for you. Uh, first off, I want to take you an um, affirmation card. We actually got two, so that's cool. Okay, we got denial and we got friendship. <clears throat> And if you want to repeat these after me, uh, we'll start with friendship. I understand that a friend is in my life for a reason. I understand that a friend is in my life for a reason. I understand that a friend is in my life for a reason, and so it is. Then we'll go with denial. I acknowledge my fear, but I replace it with insight and awareness. I acknowledge my fear, but I replace it with insight and awareness. I acknowledge my fear, but I replace it with insight and awareness, and so it is. Okay, I want to take you some angel messages, actually. We'll start here. Or Aquarius. the angel message for Aquarius. Thank you. One of these two. May I have one of these for Aquarius? Okay, those throwed out three. We're taking them. <clears throat> One of these, or two. Okay. Four. There we go. Okay. Okay, we're going to start here. And the reason I put my quartz on that, the quartz crystal, is because this is clear quartz. So if you don't have quartz, you don't have to. The energy will be with you. All you have to do is believe. Look how beautiful that card is again. Okay. Let yourself feel all your emotions. Your entire rainbow spectrum of feelings is sending you important messages and guidance. So let yourself feel all of your emotions. You're receiving messages and guidance from it and you may not even realize it. And then these we had um, Merlina, Ray, and Daniel. Merlina first. You are confused and indecisive because you do not have enough information. Do research or seek expert advice before making a decision. Then you've got Ray. Yoga and exercise are essential to your well-being, peace of mind, and spiritual growth right now. And then we have Daniel. I am the angel of marriage, and I am assisting you right now. So, you know, if you're not married, um, you know, this could be about a long relationship or a big relationship. Um... It could also be about someone that, you know, is important to you that may be dealing with problems within a marriage that you may not even know about. Um, yeah. So, don't have to be married for that to fit in somewhere. Okay, then we have number 14, which is Fire Elemental, and then we have 42, The Wheel of Life. We start here with 14 Fire Elemental. It says... I ignite the fire within me that connects me to the divine. So, gear yourself up. Get yourself wired up to connect with the divine. You know, be ready for those um, insights to come to you. And um, this is about really, really putting yourself forth on your path, your, your spiritual journey, it feels like. Okay, 42, Wheel of Life. I am guided by the cycles of life 
and live in complete harmony with them. That's beautiful. Beautiful. Okay. Hmm. That card is turned. And I hadn't even started, so I'm not going to take it. Okay, for Aquarius Spirit. Oh, mercy. I don't want two. Only one. Oh, there it is. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. We got nine of action. Ooh, look at that. Okay, ready? You worked hard to create the things you cherish in your life, such as beloved relationships, amazing accomplishments, and hearth and home. Rest assured that all these treasures and you are being constantly protected by your angels. In return, Mother Earth, the animals, and the environment need your protection. Okay, I want to take you some... Um, actually, I'm drawn to this deck. The Work Your Light deck. Yep. Okay, Lumeria. What it says is... Creating heaven on earth, it's happening. So, you see, that goes right along with the nine of action and about the mother earth and, you know, doing what you need to do, your part. Um, yeah, it's very important right now. Okay, let's take you an animal oracle. Okay, the card for Aquarius. Thank you. You got polar bear. Mystic. Ooh, look at there. Know that challenges make you stronger. Have faith when you face adversity. Take time to rest, dream, and renew your strength. Embrace your psychic abilities. You carry the shaman within. Okay, I don't know. I'm seeing someone <laughs> that just come up all of a sudden. Um, this is a young lady. And um, she's got on jeans. They're folded up at the bottom. They're like the ones that kind of stick to your legs. She's got sandals. Looks like with wed Looks like wedges to me. I'm seeing a small car, but it looks like a newer car, but I don't know what kind. Um, I want to say red, but it doesn't look red. It looks burgundy. So, I don't know why I want to say red, but it looks burgundy. Somebody's watching her. There's like big trees. This is like on um, the side of a street. But there's like a big tree somewhere about there. And it, it's like they got a, a hood on their heads. So I don't know if they've got on a hoodie or because I'm not, I'm not seeing that real good. Something. It could be a parka or such. This is like she's being watched. So I don't. I don't know who this is. Um, her hair looks like a. It's not dark brown. It's kind of like an auburn brown. It's got a um, like the the orangish hues. And it looks to be put up in the back, maybe in some type of, I don't, it doesn't really look like a bun. It looks more like a twist of some sort. Um, it looks like she's got bangs, but she's not, um, she's not heavy, but she's not, it's, it's like she's, 
a not a tiny little thing, but she's not um, heavy either. And she has no clue. That's all. That's all I'm seeing. But somebody's watching her. Um, she's got some kind of um, folders. I'm seeing folders. And a book. But I, I don't I don't know whether she's like goes to school or it doesn't really feel it. It feels more like a job, maybe a um, secretary or something. Okay, I'm seeing a ring. So I'm, I'm assuming she's either got a promise ring. I'm not seeing it on her hand. I'm actually just seeing the ring. Um, or she may be engaged. Um, the ring is different. It's not just ginormous. It's kind of... Oh, it stands out. And it's round like. But it's like there's a ring of little diamonds. And then like... Either a, it's either a diamond in the center or a cluster, and I can't see for sure which. And I'm getting it kind. I'm not, you know, I can't tell you whether it's gold or silver or nothing or white gold or anything because of the way I'm seeing it, I'm seeing it in more of a, I don't know, it's a different tone. It's it's kind of like a, kind of like some of the. Um, it's not really black and white, but it's not color. It's it's more of a like brown and darkness and yeah, it's kind of odd. Okay, let's take you one of these. Hmm. She may work in a flower shop. Okay. Whenever I first started seeing, I seen a rose, and then I seen like what looked like a bundle of flowers, but then I didn't see them, and then I started seeing this person. So I didn't associate that it went with it. Now I'm seeing flowers again. Or someone has seen her flowers. Well, we, you know, it hasn't been long since we just had um, Valentine's Day. Okay, you got a number three armadillo spirit. Set healthy boundaries. And that's awesome. Set health, healthy boundaries for you and your life. 27, fox spirit. Think on your feet. Be able to multitask is what it feels like. Number 13, cat spirit. Claim your independence. Time to take your control of your life back. Man, I'm not getting any more on that. Okay, I feel like some of you I need to look at. Um, part of me wants to say blocks, and the other part of me wants to say weaknesses. So, for some, I feel like their weaknesses may be blocking them from something. Possibly blocking them from feeling like they're going forward on their path. Okay, so I'm going to ask um, to show me their blocks, their weaknesses. Show me their, yeah, I don't think I already throw them out. Blocks, weaknesses, blocks, weaknesses. Okay. Woo! Okay. We got number 17, the star, peace, and healing. Okay, so... If that's a weakness and if that's a block, that means that you need to do some healing. And you need to find a way to bring peace to your life. Um, and I feel like for some of you, this is within your mind. And that's I know that's hard to do. I know it's hard to get out of your mind. Especially when you get things in your mind. It's, yeah. Then we have number 12, the hanged man. Uh, patience and perspective. So, 
you need to, to find a way to be have more peace in your life or within your mind. It's according to who I'm talking to. And be able to have more patience um, and let yourself heal and at the same time change the way you look at things. Change your perspective. And that will help you going forward. Okay, then we have three of crystals. Yeah, you see I've got that dean there just right up, right whenever I said that going forward. Three of crystals, um calib let's see, wait a minute, I can't see that word. Yeah, calibration and productivity. So how do you manage your time? I feel like for a lot of you this has got to do with balancing um, you know, your life and your time and work and family and you time and such. So that's something I feel like you need to work on. Which we probably all do. Yeah. Uh, Knight of Shells, Charm and Passion. So, I feel like for a lot of you, you need to have some passion come back into your life. And therefore, you need to, to open up and be more out there and be, you know, be more charming in order to let someone in because I feel like this is a kind of about being alone being by yourself and this doesn't mean it has to be romantic I mean this could be just friendship and just having companionship someone to talk to you know someone to talk to about your passionate dreams or what you feel passion for now if it is romance you know then someone to have passion for or passion with it's gonna be different for different people then we have Six of Feathers, um, Transition and Insight. You know, bringing more peace and harmony and healing and patience and the way you look at things, changing that and uh, allowing yourself, you know, to have some fun time, some free time yourself is really going to help you, I feel like, to be able to transition and change your insight about the new. And going forward on your path because it feels like you know sometimes we look back at how things were and we kind of get stuck there maybe you know a little bit and it kind of like hinders us and keep us from going forward because forward looks so different now that's just my what I'm getting so yeah then we have number 16 tower uh, release and revelation so a weakness is it feels like holding on to what needs to go you know and even if you're not literally holding on it could be inside internally holding on uh within the mind's eye holding on you see what i'm saying so that's something to work on and seeing the revelation change your perspective so that you can see the revelation for what it is see what you're hanging on to what you need to look, release for your higher good Ask the angels if you need help with that. Um, you know, that's, um, this seems to be blocking going forward in a way, you know, whether that is spiritually or, you know, going towards, you know, doing what you do, what you need to do, helping other people, or whether it's uh, romantic, or whether it's just, you know, living your daily life and going forward in your life and wanting to have a, you know, make the most out of every minute, every second. And, uh, yeah, it's going to be different for different people. Um, I want to take, um, I feel like I want to take a few of the Archangel cards. Um, okay, what is a special message for Aquarius Spirit? Okay. I can get a hold of them. Knight of Ariel. Trustworthy, understanding, devoted, and funny. Okay. There is so much to accomplish. Make every detailed plan. Being watched over by someone kind. So someone, someone's got an eye on you. Now, this doesn't have to be, you know, romantic, although it could be. But someone's got an eye on you. And, um... You know, just make your plan, do your thing. This, you know, this is someone kind. It could be a family member. Um, doesn't have to be, though. Could be a, a, someone you see as a complete stranger. Okay. King of Raphael. Uh, warm, generous, honorable, refined. 
Yes, it is safe to trust. The ability to accomplish many things at once. Follow your creative passions. So see, that takes you to that passions. Um, it's time for you to really put your all into what you are passionate about. What are you creative about? Take it further. If you haven't started it, start it. Okay, King of Gabriel. Generous, inspirational, dramatic, and driven. Keep your eyes on the big picture. Leave the details to others. Experience that leads to success. Genuine concern for others. So, you know, you may actually be um, coming into gifts or coming into, um, you know, maybe, maybe, maybe you're psychic or maybe you're um, a medium and you're, you know, you're able to talk to um, people that have gone on and, um, or maybe you're an empath or, you know, maybe you read tarot, you know, and it's, maybe it's time for you to, to um, start your, start a YouTube channel or start uh, a spiritual based business of sorts. Um, it's time for you to put your whole creative source into what you are passionate about going forward. Okay. That is, that's got a, I mean, that feels really good. It, you know, it feels like things are looking good going forward. There, you know, there's some things that need to be overcome. But at the same time, you know, it, it looks, looks like a good reading. That's what I feel from this. Trying to see if there's any more cards I want to take from. I want one of these. This too is a okay. Eight of fire. Events moving at a fast pace. Delays are over. Many things happening at once. So get ready for something to start happening. Get ready for things to change. Get ready for. Um, you know, overcoming these fears or these these blockages and being able to see things uh, from a whole new perspective um, so that going forward, you know, you can do what you need to do. Okay, we have Queen of Water. Um, Tender-hearted, empathic, patient, loving. Relationships develop to a new level. Trust your in intuition. Care for yourself and others. That's beautiful. So that is what I've got for you. Thank you so much for being here with me. I truly appreciate each and every one of you. Thumbs up. Please do subscribe. And until next time, much light and love.